this is a growing crisis, uh, is what we've uh, observed. There's, uh, it's not just about farmers getting product to market. Uh, we're hearing that farmers are paying as much as five times what they were paying last year to get their product to market. That means there's an impact on everybody across Minnesota, the price of bread, the price of cereal. Uh, it's not just a rural issue. It's an issue that impacts people in the suburbs, people in the metro, people from every corner across the state uh, are impacted when the cost of uh, getting product to market goes up. Uh, we've also uh, had, just as recently as a year ago, uh, the challenge of uh, getting propane to people who need it. And when the rail lines are clogged, uh, it's every product that suffers in terms of getting where it's needed. This really is about the issue of congestion, the ability for our goods to get to market. Um, we've had a lot of discussion in the last year or so around uh, safety, safety as relates to um, the Bakken oil that's coming through our state. Um, that's not the emphasis of today. Um, you know, anyone can say anything that they want, that's fine, it's an open public hearing. Um, but we really do want to understand what's going on with, with freight rail, uh, with the shipment of goods uh, across the state and through the state and out of the state. Um, and uh, also just wanted to point out or just reflect on the fact that this is kind of a quality problem that we have, that this is a, a function of our economy improving um, and uh, a very robust crop that, has, that is coming to market uh, and a, a demand for a lot of basic commodities. Um, and rail is a desirable form of, of shipment. Uh, it's uh, economically desirable, it's environmentally desirable. Um, and there are things we can do as a state, uh, you know, even though we don't have as much regulatory authority as, as some of the federal agencies do. Uh, a number of other states are doing interesting and creative things. And another idea that we might have, of course, is uh, working with our area partner states uh, to figure out some regional solutions. There's no question that this is more than just uh, uh, Bach and oil. This is uh, really a result of our robust uh, Minnesota economy and realizing how much uh, the rail network is a backbone of much of our economy. And uh, from our perspective, it also uh, highlights the concern we have over safety and uh, community impacts uh, generally. For uh, our perspective, there's clearly a multimodal kind of view that this uh, kind of heavy freight uh, movements affects not just rails. This is an issue for highways. It's an issue for waterways and how uh, they work uh, together. The backlog that we've experienced in Minnesota cost uh, Minnesota farmers a significant amount of money. Uh, we uh, contracted with the University of Minnesota along with our partners at Minnesota Soybean Association uh, to do an in-depth study on what farmers lost during uh, the months of March through May of this year just in terms of basis. And you know that basis is a combination of things, but more specifically it is the cost of transportation plus supply and demand built into that cost. Uh, so presently in my home community of Murdoch, corn is selling for about $2.83 with a basis of somewhere in the area of 65 cents a bushel. If you were selling it in Chicago, it would be that uh, cash price plus the basis. So the cost for transport to move that would be in, built into the basis. Grain that did move during those three months experienced a significantly high, higher basis and Mr. Christensen referenced it uh, uh, when he said that uh, the oil uh, field, uh, the oil companies were willing to pay more uh, for those cars. And so uh, welcome to America. It's a supply and demand situation. Unfortunately, there are some of us uh, that are involved in uh, production agriculture and farming that are going to uh, experience that uh, from a negative side. We own very little trackage outside of the northeastern U.S. and we operate most of our trains, a total of about 70 percent of train miles on tracks owned by other railroads, as we call them our host railroads. Uh, I'm here today, today to discuss the performance of Amtrak services on those host railroads, which has deteriorated significantly over the last year. And it, because as delays from host railroads mount, Amtrak on-time performance declines. Uh, here in Minnesota, we operate uh, uh, one route through the state, which enters at Monona, at Winona, down in the southeastern part of the state, operates through the Twin Cities, through the Saint, new St. Paul Union Depot, uh, and exits the state at Moorhead with a station uh, in Fargo. Uh, our Empire Builder Service, as we call it, named for Mr. James J. Hill, 
is run on tracks owned by the BNSF Railway and Canadian Pacific. I know this is an issue that has concerned some members of the legislature and of this body, and I very much regret that I have to start this conversation by telling you that our performance of our long distance trains in general, and this train in particular, has deteriorated and is having a dilatorious effect on Amtrak finances and the quality of service we provide to the traveling public, including the almost 200,000 annual trips taken to and from stations here in the state of Minnesota. The consumers of Minnesota have stepped forward in a large way. <coughs> we have promoted to them the ideas that they need to summer fill and pre-buy their propane, that they have the best opportunity to save money and prepare for winter by doing so. And they have done so uh, in a big fashion. With, to this date, right now, we have sold an extra 35 million gallons of summer gallons of propane. That's uh, 3,500 semi-loads that won't have to be done in the fall and early winter time. It's now been done already uh, during the summer time. That's a big part of the process. It's one of the largest storage capacities we have in the state of Minnesota are all the tanks that are on the homes, farms, and into businesses. And that's important that we have those full going into the summer. The marketers have worked well with the consumers and they've done a, done a great job. Are we there? I think additional storage will continue to be needed, and I think it will be uh, put forward through the, through the coming years. Um, cost of rail delivery is more expensive than uh, getting it through a pipeline. Uh, there's no doubt about that, and that, that will add to additional costs uh, uh, to consumers across the state. We average it out, realizing that 60% of our propane still comes on available pipelines and our other facilities that we had. But the increase that we do in rail, we'll, we will see a three to five cent across the board increase some way, some shape in the, co in a, in the cost of propane to consumers. Uh, but we hope not to see something like we did last year with the large increases. We're planning, as uh, Dave Christensen noted, to eliminate uh, the single track segments on our Staples subdivision. That's the line heading north from Minneapolis up to Staples, Minnesota. Uh, we have a couple segments there of several miles where there's a single track operation and that's, uh, that's been a, a bottleneck situation for us. We're also looking at uh, adding a number of sidings in the state, various locations, adding uh, centralized traffic control. Uh, it's a sig advanced signal system that allows for uh, more fluid, more efficient train operations and will speed up the, the flow of traffic. Uh, also, we're looking at double tracking projects in other areas that will benefit Minnesota. For example, La Crosse, Wisconsin, there's an eight mile segment of single track. We, we're planning to uh, double track that area. We're also working on a project in Sioux City, Iowa. So the north south uh, corridors on BNSF coming out of the state would have uh, a, a, basically a complete double track system uh, and expanded capacity. Uh, altogether, we don't have the price tag on it yet, but uh, the Minnesota projects over the next three years, we're, we're looking at a few hundred million dollars easily to get those projects done.